Welcome back. This is Jack. I've got my coffee, and we're playing some Star Wars. An old enemy has finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyer with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Jade. You knew Jay's better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. <laughs> Treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels that saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan. Finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, squadron leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. So this is the remnant of the Empire, not even the real Empire anymore. The faction that Welcome would go on to be the First pilot. Order. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven. Four years. Doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron. And loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Linden. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work. Let's see what the One briefing's about. Spies, Agent Thorne has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Bladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. All right. Um, I'm going to see what Captain Krill has to say and, and the other person that I'm going to book it to now the Now more mission. than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorne. Like you. Unity is the only path to progress. 
I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. Okay, I'm not a particular fan of her dialogue on that one. I'll explain after this other person. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. If only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps. Now that sounds more accurate. So, one of the things that they kind of um, mention is, and, uh, I think it was in New Hope specifically, they say uh, the Emperor needs the uh, bureaucracy in place to control it. Uh, let's see, who's this? That's Bonreg, Waylon, Shen. Uh, is this who I got to talk to? I don't know. You'll be the new pilot. Sergeant Wade. Chief yep. mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The overseer saw some action at Pothar and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission. Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say. I don't know how you and Titan cope out there. No shields or life support, just whole plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge, shields or not. I've prepared your starfighter to match the latest Imperial guidelines. But if you've got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Your TIE fighter's ready. Good fly. Um. All right. What's it? Oh, I have to. Steve. I have to talk to everybody. Ah! I hate this part. Newcomer. Welcome to Titan. Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on. Cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <clears throat> Don't annoy Von Rack. Good talk. Another time. At least they gave an explanation for why his helmet's still on and uh, some of his personality. You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. So. There's a lot of philosophy I could throw at the you right now. Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. 
Your loadout, however, is not standard. And again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. I'll help you out. No, I want the emergency repair. Do the twin micro thrust engine. That's not what I wanted. I think I grabbed the wrong one. Slower max speed and acceleration, but faster turns. Okay, I misread that. There we go. That's what I want. I'm losing a little bit of mo mo maneuverability, but I'm able to keep up with my targets. There we go. Thank you for watching. This has been Jack with the Geek's Perspective. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can be alerted and follow all my additional content coming out. Not to mention, if you go down into the comments, you'll find all my social media accounts, including Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and even a Patreon down below. And by being a Patreon member, you'll be able to access videos as soon as I post them, and even some videos that do not get released for even months at a time. So, thank you, and thank you for supporting me.